Well, I'm uh, fortunate enough to have winner of Heat 3, Andy Budge, and we have hardly seen you, old JJ. I don't know why. Um, and all of a sudden, you come out the blocks today on fire and a fantastic performance. You think you won in the end by more than a clear minute. It was a pretty exciting race, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very exciting. Um, you know, it was good to get out there. This is the first uh, decent breeze that we've had all week. So, um, you know, that's more of what suits us. We've very, got a very fast rig here. Um, which meant I think we probably were fastest boat on the course, I would imagine, you know, just in upwind boat speed. And we just stuck at it and waited for people to make mistakes and then um, just made the best of it, really. And it seemed to be the kind of day when uh, the mistakes were boat handling mistakes. And um, we noted that two of the, the best heavy air boats, so we, Smeg and the Seven, um, they actually both went for a swim. Um, did you have any near misses yourself? Um, I wouldn't say we had any near misses, but once you get to that front and, you know, you've only got two legs to go, you know, there's a fair bit of tension in the boat and uh, you know there is the tendency then to make a few errors I think that was you know those guys were pushing hard like seven were pushing hard behind us they only needed a hundred yards to get past us you know that sort of whole pressure I think just maybe just pushed them into a mistake and we saw on the um, last beat uh, you nailed that last ley line didn't you they the seven crossed you on star but looked like they went a little bit beyond the ley line you seemed to pick it beautifully and you ended up getting around just ahead of them and I, that felt like a pretty key part of this race yeah I mean I actually thought that they might put, come across us and tack straight on us, which was obviously a possibility. Um, although I think whether they'd done that or whether they'd gone a little bit further, they were still right on our tail at that, uh, that last mark. And then fortunately the guys did a good job. We got a good set. We just got enough ground on them just to give us a little bit of a comfort margin. And in terms of uh, talking about cap sizes, seven, uh, obviously at that point were just behind you. Um, they went a little bit further than you did into the Nielsen Beach. Now we've seen people have problems with the seaway there. Did you specifically avoid jibing right in there and let them go inside you? Or was that just the way it, it, it panned out? Um, I mean, uh, I just thought that the pressure was, was dying in that sort of area. I didn't want to get too far in. You know, you push the pressure in there as far as you can. And then really you've got to get out of there. And we just pushed it as far as we could. And then we got out of there. It wasn't so much of a chop issue in there. I think there's, there's other parts of the course down off Bradley's you know down at the bottom mark down in here into um into Double Bay that are a lot choppier. Yeah, so you jived a little earlier than them. They went inside you. They made a mistake on the jive. How long was it down that, uh, on that next jive until you looked back and saw that seven were no longer an issue? Oh, actually, the lads, I didn't see it, but the lads spotted it pretty quickly. <laughs> so that, that gave you a bit of a relief, didn't it? The yeah, pressure was yeah. off a bit. I mean, a little bit, yeah, sure. I mean, there was obviously boats in the background we had to watch out for, but that did, you know, feel good. <laughs> yeah, now, um, in terms of the rest of the series, uh, I'm not sure how much more wind there's coming, but if it's back to the light and medium, it, it feels to me you're not that happy with your pace in the medium breeze, are you? Um, I wouldn't say that we're the fastest boat by any stretch. Um, we have done a little bit of work to the rig in the last few days, so we are a little bit faster. Just, it's just a matter of getting off the star and turning a good race. And uh, if you don't win this regatta, and you've got obviously anything's possible, it'd be a big ask for you from here, but you never know. If you're not going to win it, who would you say is going to win this regatta? Um, well, I mean, Seven obviously look pretty, pr pretty up there, don't they? They seem fast and everything. Um, co you know, the Coco and, and his guys are great sailors. Um, they can still pull it out of the bag, there's no doubt about that. I think it just sees, sees how people race on the day. Yeah, well, good luck. I mean, congratulations today. Fantastic race. Very impressive boat handling. Uh, we're saying how smooth and calm you guys look downwind. And I think when everyone looks at the footage today, it's uh, almost a masterclass in heavy air skiff sailing. So congratulations. Okay, thank you.